During his tenure as governor of Machakos County, Governor Alfred Mutua has invested in the people. He has invested in improving the lives of the people. Yeah? And although the strong opposition right now, yeah, as a result of this crab mentality which I talked about in the first uh, part of this recording, he has a lifeline. And the lifeline are the people in the rural areas. There are many parts, uh, rural areas of Machakos County, where if you go and you say something negative about Governor Mutua, you'll be endangering your life. I'm serious. People don't want to hear anything negative about Governor Mutua because Governor Mutua has transformed their lives, has changed their lives, has made such a huge impact on their, in their lives that they're not ready to hear about any other candidate or any other person vying for governor to remove Mutua. Of course, there are very many development projects he has uh, overseen. There are so many develop development projects he has initiated. But let me just focus on one that uh, actually uh, touches and is a very powerful one uh, that should serve him well as far as votes are concerned. Now, a lot of uh, areas uh, outside Machakos town are rural. And some of them are very difficult to reach with cars. Some of them are mountainous, you know, it's up there in the mountain, uh, rough terrain. Uh, very bad roads and so on and so forth. Now what has happened is that in a lot of uh, instances in the past uh, when women go into labor they don't go to hospital. What happens is that they use the local uh, midwife yeah, to, to do the delivery. Now uh, in many cases nowadays because you know life has changed, uh, lifestyles, uh, food and so on has changed these women are not as strong as uh, the previous, as the, <laughs> as the ancestors, you know. So what has happened in a lot of cases these days, complications develop. Now, as you know, uh, during childbearing, uh, if there's a complication, uh, there are very high chances it could be life-threatening. Life-threatening to both the mother and the unborn child. Now, these are very poverty-stricken folks. Uh, they're simple people. So uh, you imagine there's an emergency which has developed, the person, uh, you know, this uh, woman is giving birth in the house and uh, now it appears, you know, the danger signals are there, she has to be rushed to hospital. Uh, and maybe, you know, a good big hospital. Uh, the nearest now would be the one in Machakos town. Now, how do you get to Machakos town? They don't have money to hire a taxi. Uh, they won't just pick up the phone and call an ambulance that will be there in minutes. Yeah, it's a real challenge. So what has happened is that uh, Mutua has organized for an ambulance on standby. Yeah, right around the county, virtually in every corner of the county. So what has happened in recent cases is that such a case developed, no problem. Just rush, the ambulance, the ambulance rushes the poor woman down to Machakos uh, Hospital, level 5 hospital, and her life is saved, and the life of her, her child as well is saved in many cases. Now, women folk in the rural areas, to them, this is pure magic. To them, this is a favor that can never be forgotten. To them, this is a kind of favor that whoever is against the person who brought that favor may be cast. That is how they talk. <laughs> this is Dr. Alfred Mutua's lifeline. Yeah, the actual simple people on the ground. Now the big question is, how many of these are there? And are they more than the people who will oppose uh, uh, Governor Mutua? That's the big question, yeah? And then there are also other areas in Ukambani, for example, like areas like Kangundo, where Governor Mudama comes from, which are fairly well developed, very, very well developed, very educated people coming from there. And these areas uh, generally have gone with the, uh, with the Senator Mudama in opposing uh, Governor Mutua. So, crab mentality again, you know, jealousy mostly. And so these people are not going to vote for Governor Mutua. Yeah? So, it's very tricky. Now let's come to the uh, uh, town areas, or rather the... Remember that Machakos County extends up to places like Atherifa, yeah? Um, in Atherifa, this is, you know, this is town, this is just right next to Nairobi, yeah? A lot of the people here will vote against Governor Mtua, yeah? And here's why. A lot of them, are if they are Kamba people, they are sophisticated, educated Kamba people, uh, and the story is that uh, we're not like the rural area people to be cheated with ambulances and so on. This governor must go, he has been corrupt, that's their story. Okay? Of course, propaganda fed to them by Mudama. And of course, uh, riding on the DNA which is already in their blood, which is crab mentality. How can one of our own do so well? Yeah, we must pull him down. Yeah, that is what is driving them. Yeah? 
Then also, more interestingly, there are also uh, other people from other places of the country. Uh, in Athriva, there's a sizable population of the Kikuyus, sizable population of the Luz, and so on and so forth. Now, where it's going to be tricky is that Jubilee actually fielding a candidate for governor in Machakos. And this candidate of Jubilee most probably will carry the significant population of Kikuyus within Machakos County. Yeah, mostly in Athi River, in places like uh, Yata, in other places like Mboni. Yeah, uh, by the way, Yata just neighbors central province. Yeah, so there's a huge population of Kikuyus there again. Now, these areas will go with the Jubilee candidate, whom people say I'm informed very reliably is a Ruto project, DP Ruto project. You see, DP Ruto has made himself a sitting duck. Uh, rather, uh, Governor Alfred Mutua has made himself a sitting duck because he has announced his interest in the presidency, in running for the presidency in 2022. Yeah? And of course, DP Ruto is also eyeing 2022. So, of course, the, the idea here is to make sure that uh, Mutua is not re elected. Yeah, with anybody else but Mutua. And if that happens, uh, supposedly this will cut Alfred Mutua's feet uh, and uh, decrease his chances of making any impact on the political landscape in 2022. Yeah, that's politics for you. So this is why, especially the recent uh, threat uh, from a jubilee candidate. Now, you, of course, you know Governor Mutua is supporting the re-election of President Uhuru Kenyatta to the hilt. He's not going back on that. Uh, but then still, jubilee have fielded a candidate there to oppose the person who is supporting the president. Yeah, that's the reality on the ground. That's what has happened. And uh, this, this, this is a real threat. What could happen is that the numbers, Governor Mutua may not have the, enough numbers to be re-elected back into office. That is the sad news I have to bring to you. All you Kenyans of goodwill who uh, like Mutua, like what he has done, because he's the face of uh, the future we look forward to in, amongst our leaders. You know, a different kind of approach to leadership, not the one we have had before, uh, but a new kind of leadership, where it is focused on development for the sake of the people, focused on improving the standards of living of the people. Yeah. Now, I have some very interesting people who are uh, taking this channel, uh, and I'd like just to give a disclaimer. Now, in case Governor Mutua wins, please don't put any comment down here, oh, you know, oh, Kumikucha, you're wrong. You predicted that Governor Mutua would lose, you're wrong. Now Governor Mutua has won, you're wrong. <laughs> Gosh, I don't even know how to answer that. Okay, So because uh, if you have listened to this recording, you know what I've said. Yeah, I'm not even against Governor Mutua. I'm, I would really love him to go back. For this, every Kenyan of goodwill should support Governor Mutua. Yeah, because he has shown us in actions yeah, what he can do. And uh, such new leadership should be supported to the hilt. Yeah. So my prayer is that uh, we hope for the best. We hope uh, we wish Governor Mutua the best, and we hope that in his struggle he's going to win against those forces which want him out. Who want him out of office? Yeah. Including the deputy president, he also want him to out of office. But this is politics. I think that's it for now. This is Chris Kumakucha. Till next time.